Jack and Chase. What did you learn from those guys? It was just being tough, being physical at the line, just being able to do my job and just not try to do too much to like get myself out of it. Like that's what, that was my plan when I first came in here, when they decided to stay, was just to be here and learn from the older guys and then take all the knowledge they gave me and then apply it to the game for myself. DJ, as a, as a returner, on a scale of 1 to 10, how frustrating was last season for you? It was, it was frustrating because every time it was almost there. So I was just like this year, I just wanted to forget almost, just make the touchdown every time. So like Coach Slow tell me all the time, Coach Slurm, all of them tell me, approach every catch I do in practice is like a game. So then like catch the ball, do a few drive steps, read how what happens at the first down the field, just approach like how the game would be. So you feel like it was a learning learning curve growth process for you last yeah. year? Yeah, I liked it though. I like uh, being able to learn from all of them, Dre, Evan, Chase, Jack, just being able to talk to them even after the uh, like after games, after practice, just see what it like, what they do, what they see when they go up at the line, what do they think of? Just be able to be comfortable, but not too comfortable, just be able to play your game. How do you balance the confidence of knowing that you can have a chance to bust a big return at any given time versus perhaps you know being you know, discretion is a better part of Valor of just you know making perhaps a more conservative decision in return? Just uh, just trying to. Do what I can do. I right, basically just like like I said, just take every play as a game aspect. So that way, when this game time come, I'll be ready and not be like thinking or guessing or anything. Just be able to when I get that touchdown, when I just be able to do it. Are, are there guidelines that you've been given? Because obviously, the Arizona touchdown in 2020, mm -hmm. you took from eight or nine yards back or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then others maybe shouldn't have been returned. Mm -hmm. So how do you find that balance? Just playing everything smart. Being smart, make sure I'm making the right decision at all the times. My coach Lowe tell me do the ordinary things, extraordinary well. So it's being just doing the little details right every time, just to perfect my game. Like I said, like like the ball going to touchdown, make make sure I make the right decision. Make sure I'm doing everything right. Make sure I'm catching the ball up high. Make sure I'm also taking the right drive steps. Make sure I'm driving forward where I catch the ball. Like I said, just the little things. Getting getting a good visual on what's yeah. in front of you. Yeah. So I just don't you don't come different when it actually happens, so I know what to do. How did the GPS times stack up to previous seasons? What you say? How did the GPS times stack stack up to previous seasons? Uh, <laughs> just I don't know, trying to do better. Like just trying to keep balling, keep doing what I can do, keep helping the team, all aspects. You want to do punts too? Yeah. I, I like I'm not scared to do it. I like <laughs> I like like for my mindset when I go to do it is be comfortable, but don't panic. So like, I just, whatever happens, happens. But also like still know like, this is a game time thing. Like you, first thing to do, catch the ball. Make sure I'm making the right decision. Do I have the fair catch? Do I not? Where everybody at on the field? When I catch the ball, what do I do with it after? So just knowing what I have to do, knowing my assignment, my job. You've asked some others about who's the fastest guys on the team are. What's your, if Charles Hall came in, you said you think he's up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm for sure up there. I'm top five for sure. Uh, uh, I done seen a few, uh, Isaiah Johnson, Charles Hall, uh, I don't really know who else really, but I mean Mace, Mason Williams, so like, we got a whole, whole fast team, we all speed wise, we all got everything with us, so. Has Charles Roger. surprised you a little bit? Yeah, yeah. It was when I, uh, when I first, like, they were telling me, he like, he's fast, he's fast. And I, like, I'd never seen it, and then when I finally seen it, I was like, oh yeah, he's he actually fast, yeah, yeah, like he proved it, yeah. So, any other newcomers standing out to you, or what have you seen from them? Uh, I'm just trying to think. Nah, I mean, like everybody's all working. We all working, trying to do what we can do on the team, show, prove what we what we show, like what we can do. We all came here for a reason, and all decided to come as this whole team, be great together, try to run the Rose Bowl together, try to win the national championship together. We all just want to be great. Does it feel good? Kind of taking things personally, or people are kind of dogging on you guys. You guys seem like you're taking it personally. Yeah, but we also know, like, even that's just the outside stuff. Like, we work, we come every day to work, come every day to practice. We wake up, we make that choice, the decision to wake up early in the morning, come here to work, come to every meeting. So we just all want to, we all want it together. We all came, like, over the summer, we all came closer and closer. That's what I like. Like, we also, we also got to know, really, really know each other. So like we just like a team bond. So it's just everybody has the same mindset. It's like our back against the wall. Everybody think this is what that. But we know the real. Like we know what we can do. We know everything we can do.
from the defensive backs room, how prevalent is sort of versatility pushing guys to play in different spots been, you know, as far as what you've heard? It's been good. I mean, it's better if you can play at all types of spots. So, like, I haven't been corner when I first came in, running back when I came in, and then when I switched, came back, played safety, got down safety, then started playing nickel now. So that's just the versatility aspect of it because that's what more, like, everybody really wants, most very versatility. So you can play corner because anybody can go down any minute and you don't know what can happen. So they might move me. Now I got to know my job and assign me that corner or, you know what I mean, like nickel or safety, just whatever. Being available, really. Because Coach Fletcher made that an emphasis across the group. Yeah, for sure. He has. Yeah, I like him a lot. What does he like as a coach? He just, he be on us. He just always wants us to make sure we always in a winning position. Like, like he always tells us body posture, leverage, and plan of action. Just knowing like what we're doing before to get before the ball snap. All right, then just knowing where we line up. Then, like I said, the plan of action. Then just being on top shoulder, trying to link, being in a winning position at all times. Because it all stacks up, stack, it's practice. So it just all stacks up, it stacks up. And when it comes to the game, it's nothing new. You just keep doing it over and over again. And the play is going to come. Just keep doing your job. That's all he like, really likes to do. How much does it help that guy was a DB's coach last year and obviously Herm did it at the highest level? I mean, it helped a lot. I mean, like, when I came in, like in high school, I had like a lot of coaches with me that had connection to Herm or Marv or something like that. So they always telling me like, it's, they're all a good guy. Like, they'll, they'll teach you things. They'll actually like help you, help you trying to, they want more than just football for you. They also want you outside of football to be a man. So it's just like, it was good having Coach Donnie as a DB coach. He also showed me a lot of stuff. He made sure we all could just play and just do what we had to do.